Assalamu alaikum, dear parents, and welcome to our 2023 uh, Year 10 and VC Information Night. Before we start, I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people, the traditional owners uh, of this land, and uh, pay respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Now, we've really come off a very successful 2022 year in terms of our VC results. Uh, Mr. C will elaborate more on those results. But suffice to say that we've set a standard now which we, uh, which we want to keep going at our school and aim higher. We have a, a great cohort of year 12s this year, and we hope uh, to replicate or if not exceed our results of 2022. But in this regard, your support parents is extremely important in, uh, in order for us to obtain uh, result, good results in, at Alsvark for us and for your children. And your support in, in terms of making sure that your children come to school regularly, come prepared to school, uh, and are uh, given the opportunities at home to study and to make best use of their uh, learning environment. To this end, we've also got external providers this year like Elevate, uh, who, which will also have parent sessions. And I encourage you all to register for those parent sessions so that you can help your students with things like um, time management, study skills, um, dealing with stress, coping with stress and so on, uh, so that we, we can work hand in hand in ensuring that your children are well prepared for the examinations that come up at the school. I also seek your support in ensuring that your children come to school um, in the correct uniform with the correct materials and come to school on time, which seems to be a little bit of a problem right now. But we really need students to be at school uh, on time. And very special uh, focus has to be in our year 10s, where we are finding uh, taking a, a little longer time to settle down and to be motivated uh, to study and to learn in the VC world at Al Sirat. So today's program is going to be um, going to be handled by our VC coordinator, Mr. Seal, who will take you through the various aspects of VC. We have a panelist consisting of Ms. Rahat and the heads of learning, who will answer questions to you, which you can type into the um, question and answer box at any time and somebody will answer it for you. But we'll also have a session at the end, an open session at the end, where you can also ask questions. So right now I'd like to hand over to Ms. Asil. Assalamualaikum, dear parents and fellow colleagues. Thank you all for coming this evening to our year 10 and VCE information night. Um, I have with me also, um, Mr. David Halley, who's our VET coordinator this year, who will be also be sharing um, his valuable knowledge when it comes to our VET program uh, as well at the school. So I'd like to begin with um, just a quick overview of our program for today. So I'll go through with um, you all our very wonderful, successful 2022 VCE results. Um, also give you all information about our year 10 program and how it um, seamlessly lines up with our VCE program at Ulcerat College. I'll also go through with you all um, academic expectations for all our year 10 to 12 students, as well as support services at Ulcerat College and how you can best support your child in their uh, senior school journey for the next uh, three years. So as Mr. Viz said, our VCE results at the end of last year was phenomenal and perhaps the best we've ever had at the school. MashaAllah, we had um, our ducks of 2022 achieve an ATAR of 98.05. We also had um, outstanding results throughout the whole cohort um, with over 80% of students achieving an ATAR of 70 and above. Um, in addition to that, we had 16% of our students achieve an ATA of 90 or above. And um, in addition to that, we also had two perfect study schools. 
in vet business and vet sport and recreation, which is our first um, time ever that we actually achieved perfect 50 study scores in any subject. Um, our success also contributed to our um, median for our study scores uh, to be higher than what we had anticipated. So our median for 2022 was a 32 study score, which is uh, higher than the state average of 30. Most importantly as well, we had wonderful results throughout our year 11 cohort who also did a year 12 subject last year. So combined with our year 11 and year 12 students, um, over 16% achieved a study score of 40 or above. And most notable as well is the fact that also 10 out of our 10 VC, 12 VC subjects, sorry, achieved um, above state median. And I'd like to acknowledge also the hard work of all our students um, in 2022 in achieving these phenomenal results. And also I'd like to acknowledge the um, phenomenal work that our teachers uh, in our year 11 and 12, as well as our seven to 10 teachers who all contribute um, in our student successes as well. Now, we don't just also focus on um, our results. We also look at where our students have um, gone beyond our school. And it's really pleasing to see that the most of our students um, were able to actually get their first or second preference. And a lot of our students, mashallah, in, you know, enrolled in various courses from biomedical sciences to law, to arts, to engineering, to psychology, to nursing, and a whole field of uh, pathways across all the major universities in Melbourne and uh, in particular University of Melbourne and also Monash University, which is, as you know, uh, two of the top eight universities in Australia. So I'd like to begin with just a quick overview of our E10 program and also how it ties in with our VCE program at Alcerat College. So at Alcerat College, our E10 students um, have a range of opportunities to select from a variety of subjects catered to their interests, their needs, um, and their strengths as well. Um, our year 10 program is also a pathway to uh, the VCE subjects that the students will need to think about and consider in terms of where their future pathways will lead them as well. We encourage our students to make the right choices when it comes to their year 10 program, and that should really be based on what their VCE subject choices are, um, as well as what their strengths are, what their interests are, but also realistic capabilities as well. Um, there's also more information on our website um, in terms of subject handbooks, and I'll direct you all to links after our program, inshallah, for all our subject handbooks and all our VCE handbooks for you to refer to. It's important to note as well that students' performance in the year nine subjects does uh, count towards their entry into certain year 10 subjects as well. So for example, in order to be able to do year 10 chemistry, we do look at students' year nine science results. Um, and for students, if they want to continue with chemistry in VCE, they should also meet a minimum requirement in year 10 chemistry as well as year 10 science as well. So it's really important for students to really think about their strengths, their capabilities, and how well they can actually perform in their year uh, 10 and as well as their VC subjects when making their subject choices. So our year 10 program consists of uh, compulsory subjects that all students must complete. So all students will need to complete English, uh, year 10 maths, mainstream maths, or foundation maths, and that's also dependent on a student's year nine maths results. Um, students will also uh, be able to choose from Quran or Arabic. Arabic will only be offered if there's enough interest and numbers, otherwise students will need to do. Just while Ms. Asil is logging back into the system, just wanted to thank all the parents for joining in. Alhamdulillah, um, uh, it's uh, important uh, information that I'm sure um, for some of you, you may have come across before. For some others, it may be the first time uh, you have a child in the year 10 to 12 space. Um, it can be daunting at times, some of the terminology that's used, um, but by all means, we are approachable. So please do reach out to us if you have any questions. And in particular, if, if there's anything that um, you have questions about right now as well, we've got a whole panel here. So please um, type it in the Q&A 
And um, we hope to get through that before the end of the session as well, inshallah. Um, so like Miss Asil was saying, U10 is a very, very important um, entry point uh, into the VCE. It's, it's a pathway into it. So it's, uh, it's critical that the, um, the students, particularly if they're interested in getting into some of the more competitive subjects, um, the subjects where, um, where you know, we, we know that there is um, um, a restriction on how many students can actually go into it and there's prerequisites as well. Um, so to avoid disappointment, it's uh, really important for the students to know right from the start of year 10 that if they are keen on doing a subject, then they really do need to um, ensure that they've got the competitive edge to get in. With that said, um, Mr. Seal is going to go through the rest of the presentation and, um, and encourage parents to think more broadly as well in terms of the, the large number of subject selections we actually do offer. Um, and not to, uh, not for any students or any parents to um, think that there are certain subjects uh, that are scaled up. So we must go towards that. Um, there's a lot of fallacies that are around, uh, but Alhamdulillah, I think, um, you know, if you've got any questions around that, the main, the key thing will be um, for the students, the effort that they put in and uh, regardless of which subject they go for, uh, but ideally it's the subjects that they enjoy doing uh, is, is key for them to have the motivation to continue studying it. Miss Asil, are you back? I am back, actually. Excellent. I'm yeah. not sure what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> thank, thank you. I'm not sure. I actually continued presenting, so I'm not sure where I got kicked out from. <clears throat> you were at the point where you were going through the year 10 um, subjects that were there, the compulsory, the core subjects and okay. electives. Okay. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ms. Rahan. Okay, so I'll just quickly go back to the Year 10 program. And as I was um, mentioning earlier, we have a range of compulsory subjects that students uh, must complete in Year 10, which are listed below, as well as one choice of VCE subject. So we have for the Year 10s, we have VCE Biology, Vet Community Services, Vet Business, and Vet Sport and Recreation. It's important to note that um, students who don't gain entry into VCE biology in year 10, um, again, we look at minimum entry requirements for entry into VCE biology in year 10, but if students don't gain entry into VCE biology in year 10, they can do VCE biology in year 11, provided that they achieve, again, minimum standards in year 10 science. And I do encourage parents to uh, encourage their child to actually think broadly about their subject choices. Um, I should mention, um, interestingly, our top three students of 2022 um, had a vast variety of different subjects from humanities-based subjects to sciences to maths to even vet subjects. And even our ducks of 2022 actually scored a perfect 50 in vet sport and recreation. And that catapulted her to achieving a very high ATA. So I encourage all students to, when selecting subjects, to look at their interests, to look at their realistic capabilities, and also choose subjects not based on scaling, but based on how they can gain a, an edge over everyone else and having a spread of subjects as well not selecting too many of one subject area at the expense of others as well. To help our year 10s to be able to make better choices, we also offer year 10 subject choices. And I encourage parents to also refer to um, our handbooks that are available on our website that have uh, very detailed information about our year 10 subject choices and which subjects will be on offer um, based on which semester as well. So the year 10 subject choices that we have come from very ma many different areas um, in our learning um, uh, areas. So we have uh, chemistry, we have business uh, subjects, we also have criminal minds, which is a new subject for us this year. We also have subjects in STEM, so systems engineering. Um, we also have um, advanced maths, which is geared towards students who um, want to do maths methods 
I should also mention as well that to gain entry into chemi year 10 chemistry and year 10 advanced methods, we do look at a student's year nine um, science as well as year nine maths results to determine who is suitable to be able to handle the complexities of those subjects as well. Moving on to our VCE. So a quick, just a snapshot of what VCE is. VCE is the Victorian Certificate of Education. It's a single certificate that requires students to be able to successfully complete at least 16 units of study. Traditionally, the VCE is a two year course that's usually begins at year 11 and then continues on to year 12. At Ulcerat College, we begin our VCE journey in year 10 to be able to best support students to spread out their VCE over three years. In having said that, all studies that students begin at year 10, so whichever sub VCE subject they commence in year 10, does contribute to their um, ATA when it is calculated at the end of year 12 studies. All assessment at VCE level is called a school assessed coursework. So school assessed coursework, as well as your examination grade for unit three and four, does contribute to the calculation of the ATA at the end of year 12. In order to be able to receive the VCE certificate, there are minimum requirements. Of the 16 units that the students must complete at a minimum, at least three have to be from English at a satisfactory level, meaning that students must pass VCE English in order to be able to be awarded a VCE certificate as well as to have their ATAR calculated as well. In addition to the English requirements, students must also complete at least three other sequences of unit three and four studies other than English. That could be from any subjects that the student chooses, whether it be maths, the sciences, the humanities or the vet subjects as well. VCE at Ulcerat, as I mentioned earlier, is spread over three years. We commence VCE at the E10 level. We also offer an extensive range of subjects from different subject areas. Um, each unit or each semester is uh, it's called a unit and it's spread over a semester and each subject has four units. Year 11 equivalent is called unit one and two and year 12 equivalent is units three and four. And when a student selects a subject, the uh, traditionally students will continue right through to year 12 with that same subject. So in how the VCE is structured at our school, so all students in year 10 will complete one unit one and two subject in year 10. Then when they're in year 11, they'll continue with that subject at a unit three and four level, in addition to five other unit one and two subjects, one of which has to be uh, VCE English. Then when they are in year 12, they will just continue with the five subjects that they had started in year 11. So then by the end of their VCE journey at Ulcerat College, all students will have completed six subjects. So an example of this and what it looks like is, for example, a student may select vet business in year 10, uh, unit one and two. Then in year 11, they will have the English. Then they possibly will choose legal studies, psychology, business, general maths as the five year 11 equivalent subjects in year 11. In addition to continuing with their vet business that they started in year 10, they'll complete that subject as a unit three and four in year 11. Then they will progress with the remainder of their five subjects in year 12 with a completion of six, six subjects um, by the end of year 12, inshallah. We have a wide variety of VCE subjects choices. And as we grow as a school, we will be inshallah looking at exploring at um, providing opportunities for more subjects um, to be offered to our students. Um, we uh, have offered a, a, a few new subjects this year. In particular, um, we have VCE text and tradition for year 12. We're also offering VCE foundation maths for all year 11 and year 12 students. And we're aiming for that all students will complete with at least one maths by the end of year 12 to improve their numeracy skills. Uh, we're also offering VCE sociology and VCE food studies, which is new to our school, in addition to growing our VCE vet subjects uh, by adding, in addition to vet business and vet sport and recreation, we've also added vet community service as well as vet information technology. I encourage you all also to please read the VCE handbooks 
um, to read a full description of each subject with your child so that they can have a full understanding of what is the learning areas for each subjects, um, as well as any academic expectations and assessments for each subject as well. But I importantly, and I'll stress on this point that please, please don't encourage your child to pick subjects based on scaling alone, as we have traditionally seen students who pick those subjects struggle to be able to handle um, a lot of content heavy, a lot of demanding subjects. On the contrary, we'd like all students to be selecting a range of different subjects and try and at least do one VET subject to be able to achieve a very high study score in order to improve their ATAR, inshallah. Okay, assalamu alaikum parents. Uh, my name is David Halley. Uh, I'm running the VET program at Al Sarat College. So I'm just here to talk to you a little more about what the VCE VET program actually entails at our school. So uh, VET or vocational education and training, it is a system that actually exists outside of schools that has been brought into the VCE. So you very well could go and do any of these sort of certificates um, outside uh, through other registered training organizations in the same way that your students are doing them through the school. So the uh, organization that we use is called IVET. Um, they're the ones who are issuing the certificates for us. So um, essentially what happens is the students who complete all or part of a nationally recognized qualification may receive credits towards satisfactory completion of their VCE. So in the VCE system, a VET subject acts almost as though it's just another class for them. Uh, students who choose this subject and complete the subject over year 11 and 12 will receive either a certificate two or a certificate three qualification and also credits towards their VCE ATAR. It is however important to note that students can only study a max of two VET subjects while they're in VCE. So we're very fortunate. We have a ever-growing VET program at Al Sarat College. It's expanding. So in 2023, we're offering four subjects in the VET area. So we have VET business, where students will attain a certificate two in workplace skills at the end of year 11. Uh, and should they go on to do that in the unit three and four, they can also attain a partial, uh, partial qualification um, in the certificate three in business in year 12. So in VET Community Services, they'll also be receiving a certificate two in community services. A benefit of students selecting this subject is that it allows them to complete their values and action hours or via hours, which is a requirement for students to graduate. Um, and in VET Sport and Rec, they're gaining that certificate three qualification. Uh, typically what we're going to see there is uh, students who get that certificate, they're going to move on um, and have the opportunity to work in the sport and recreation industry, uh, particularly when they, if they go on to study at university, things like that, it's a great qualification to have to attain sort of additional work, working with kids, working in the sport industry, things of that nature. Um, and then lastly, we have vet information technology. So this is one of the new ones that are offered this year. That's a certificate three. Um, essentially what the students are learning is the practical side behind software development and uh, connecting computers, all these sorts of things. So very, very um, useful for a lot of your kids who might be a bit more techy, maybe too techy for their own good. So what are the advantages of completing a VCE VET subject? So students are going to gain real world practical skills and knowledge that can be applied in a range of different real world scenarios. So for instance, in VET business, they're learning a whole lot of skills that they could use in most business environments, looking at things like how to send emails properly, uh, how to conduct themselves in a work environment, work health and safety, these sorts of things. Um, students are going to attain a nationally recognized qualification that they can use to support their application for a range of jobs or further study, as I just mentioned before. So these uh, certificates that are issued are recognized by the government and can be used anywhere in the country. Uh, it's going to be well suited to students who learn more by doing rather than listening. So if you've got a, a child who's quite active or maybe struggles sitting there just being talked at for hours on end, uh, typically what you're going to find is that they're going to um, enjoy vet subjects more, getting a chance for more hands-on practical application of their knowledge. And then it's also going to expose students to a range of soft skills. So looking at things such as interpersonal communication, resilience and organizational skills, just to name a few, all things that once again are very applicable and transferable in a range of different uh, real world scenarios. Thank you, David, for that. 
So what are the um, academic expectations for all of our students in year 10 to 12? Um, we do ask parents to please uh, support us in this matter to ensure that your child is better prepared for the academic rigor of VCE, as well as to be able to perform to the best of their ability. So in order to meet expectations academically, uh, our expectations are that students need to do independent home study, which is a minimum of 15 hours per week. Now that's not 15 hours per subject, it's 15 hours uh, per week. So we, we provide students, as Mr. Viss said, with uh, programs such as Elevate, encouraging students to um, work on their time management skills, creating study habits, study timetables. And we ask parents to please support us in this matter so that students are better prepared and inshallah achieve their full potential um, throughout the next three years. Independent home study also is completion of all set tasks or work by set by the teachers, as well as regular revision. So as I uh, speak to my students as well, I encourage them that independent home study is not just completing homework, rather it's regular revision of everything that we have learned to make sure that we retain all our knowledge and apply our understanding um, regularly to be able to perform better in tests, in school assessed coursework, as well as exams. In addition to independent home study, um, our academic expectations that all students uh, need to follow or must follow all our college policies. In particular, attendance is, um, it, we really need parents' support in terms of attendance and punctuality. Uh, we know that it's the beginning of the year, but if we set these uh, habits from now, uh, students will, uh, inshallah, not miss out on valuable class time uh, at the beginning of the morning, as well as punctuality throughout the day as well. Um, students also have uh, signed a VCE contract um, at the beginning of transition from last year. So students are required to complete all coursework, um, wear the correct uniform at all times and cooperate with all other policies in terms of behavior as well. And just on that, um, Asil will also must emphasize um, that attendance and travel time during school is just not going to be appropriate for VCE. I see you've got it in the next slide. Yeah. Um, attendance at VCE is of utmost importance and that includes our year 10 students as well. So all VCE units uh, require 50 hours of class time. And that means that students need to be able to actually be in present in class to be able to demonstrate to their teacher that they have uh, met all course requirements. In having said that, students have to attend a minimum of 90% of class time and follow all school um, attendance rules. If a student has completed the work, is an A-plus student, but has substantial breaches of attendance rule, then they are more likely to achieve an N or a not satisfactory, as they will not be able to demonstrate their outcomes simply by not being in class. I should also stress on the last point here, which is of a concern that Mr. Fist and I have identified already at the beginning of this year, is that overseas travel is not an approved absence irrespective of the reason for the overseas travel. And parents need to understand as well that any time missed out is putting undue pressure on their child to be able to do the work to the best of their ability and really does compromise on their achievement as well. Overseas uh, travel or extended absences, that's an unapproved absence for all the 10 to 12 students will result in a student receiving an N or a not satisfactory and will actually jeopardize their ability to be able to progress to the next year. So if a year 10 student is going overseas and has this substantial amount of time, then they will most likely have to repeat all of year 10. And the same goes for year 11 and 12 students. So we ask parents to please not book any holidays during school time and rather stick to the holiday um, times as publicized on our school website as well. Now in VCE, students all have to complete school assessed coursework. 
uh, or as we call a sack. However, we do understand that students may, for some reason, fall ill. Now, if your child is um, absent uh, from a school assessed coursework due to illness, they must uh, provide a medical certificate to be able to sit the sack. Medical certificates have to be attained on the same day as absence as we cannot accept backdated medical certificates. Um, and I encourage parents that if you're unsure, please reach out to me and send me an email or give me a call and I'll provide you with further guidance. But as a form of habit, I ask all students um, irrespective if there's a sack or not, the standard procedure should be that if you are absent from school for an illness, please see a doctor, get a medical certificate and provide that to the school and myself as well. However, if you are absent from a sack and there is no valid reason for your absence, unfortunately students will be awarded a zero mark um, and it may actually result in an end result. So please, I ask parents to please be vigilant in this, in this respect. Um, we do have, um, I, I believe when Canvas will be available for all parents, they'll be able to see the uh, VCE SAC calendar. So all students are able to see their school assessed coursework dates from now until the end of the year via a calendar. Um, please look at the calendar and, you know, help your child to be able to plan their time wisely, but also be on alert that there, if there is a SAC and they are absent, to please take them to the doctor and provide me with a medical certificate for the day that they are absent. We also understand that um, students during their VCE, including their year 10 students as well, may experience significant hardship and that may impact on uh, their ability to be able to perform to the best of their abilities as well. Um, students may be eligible for special provisions if they suffer significant physical or psychological illness, um, if there are other personal factors or environments that may, um, uh, you know, cause for, for example, students to experience anxiety related issues or any disabilities or impairments such as learning disabilities, hearing impairment or vision impairment that could actually impact on their ability to perform in their school assessed coursework or their test, I encourage parents to please reach out to me. We can have a private confidential conversation as I can help uh, your child to be able to uh, do a school assessed coursework with special provisions offered by the VCE as well. Uh, in order for a student to qualify for special provisions, uh, in order to be able to do a school assessed coursework or to complete a unit um, of study, they need to apply for special provisions. Um, this may include uh, providing supporting documentation from a medical professional, a psychologist, a social worker, or any other professional who um, is best able to support an application for special provisions. How do special provisions uh, support students? Um, for example, if a student has um, anxiety or depression related uh, condition, and they are seeing a psychologist outside of school, um, we can apply for that student to receive special provisions in order to be able to have uh, provisions in place during a school assessed coursework task. Provisions could include rest breaks to be able to support a student in order to be able to sit the sack just like everyone else. Now, so that special provisions is not special consideration. It will not change the marking but it would rather give students the opportunity to be able to have support in order to be able to do a school assessed coursework like every other student. So if you're unsure about how this works and you feel your child might fall within the category of um, a medical condition or uh, you know, psych a psychological issue, please reach out to me and we can work on how we can best support your child. Other support available to all our students, we also have Edrolo for all our VCE students, which is uh, independent home learning um, available to most VCE subjects for all our VCE students. I encourage parents to please uh, follow up with your child and ensure that they are watching all of the uh, tutorials and the videos, as well as completing any quizzes on Edrolo as it is part of school coursework. Um, in addition to Edrolo, we also are running for the first time this year, Elevate uh, 
program, which is an external provider to help support our students in time management and study skills. There are parent information sessions available as well. So please check your email to see when they are running. In addition to Adrola, we also offer careers counseling. Our careers coordinator is Mr. Tarkovsky is available in the Medicus to support all our students, providing one-on-one -on -one and group support as well. We also have a wonderful SSD wellbeing support, um, offering counseling services and wellbeing programs for all of our students to best support them in their VCE journey as well. We also have a range of uh, careers related resources, including our Alsorat Careers website, available to all our students, not just when they're at school, but also once they graduate, they are still able to access uh, this wonderful resource. We also have um, a range of external websites available for parents and students to help uh, their child to best select courses, as well as understanding prerequisites and which VC subjects to do um, for the next two to three years. What are some of the ways that you can best help your child to study effectively? We encourage all parents to create a study-friendly home environment um, that's distraction-free. Limit as much distractions for your child as possible. Um, help your child write a study timetable. Um, a lot of our year 11 students have study periods throughout the day um, in their timetable. So sit down with your child and work out a study timetable that best works around their needs as well as, you know, how they can study at home as well. Um, encourage your child to work towards specific goals. So now's the good time to write goals for yourself uh, for the end of term one, but also encourage your child to also uh, revisit those goals, see whether they've actually attained them and how they can make adjustments to um, set new goals for the future and improve on their academic results. Help them retain information. There's a lot of strategies that you can do to help the child retain information. Um, for example, asking them, you know, telling them to teach you something that they learned today in school. It's a great way for them to be able to verbalize what they've learned in the classroom and also being able to retain that information as well. Encourage healthy eating habits, um, as well as encouraging your child to get enough sleep. Um, the VCE, U10 and VCE program is quite intense and students need to be able to uh, focus not just on their academics, but also their well-being and their health in order to best support them for the next two to three years. Um, encourage your child to get active and get moving, even if it's a walk around uh, the block or to the park. Um, we have hummed no great weather the next few days, probably not the right time to go for a jog, but a good walk would be great. Um, as well as please provide your child with uh, lots of emotional support. There's going to be lots of highs, lots of lows, um, lots of assessments, and uh, best support your child during the next two to three years as um, it is a very uh, intense program. But as I say to all students, the most organized students will be the most successful students. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you all for coming today. If you have um, any questions, you're more than free to uh, put them in the chat box and we can um, answer your questions as well. Okay, thank you, Ms. Cecil. Uh, and thank you, parents, for tuning in tonight and um, listening to our parent info night. Uh, if you you may not have any questions now, but if you do have uh, in the coming days or weeks, please feel free to uh, drop an email to any of us, myself, Mrs. Mr. Seal, or any of the HOLs, uh, and we will uh, answer your questions or get back to you. We will, we will leave the Q&A open for a while, just in case anybody has any questions.
Uh, inshallah, we will have uh, the slides available to all parents. Um, and if we can get a recording, we'll also have a recording of this presentation, inshallah. Thank you, Samir Norman, for those uh, kind words. Yes, we are all we are all fully invested in your child's education. So it's not just you; it's us as well. I think uh, that's about it for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And as I said, we are always available to answer questions. Um, and feel free to ask whenever you need to. And we wish you all the best for the rest of the year. And we will strive to do our bit for your children, as, I show, as I'm sure that you would want us to do. And let's hope that um, by the end of this year, we will get excellent results uh, and we will all be happy, you and us. Thank you, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Have a good evening. And thank you, staff, for being on board as well. Thank you, Mr. Vesson, Mr. Seal, and all the panelists and Mr. Halley. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much. Wa alaikum salam. Mr. Seal, we can close the session. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum parents, thank you for joining us. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to email me and I'll hopefully answer your questions, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>